and welcome back to another episode of Backyard DIY. I finally found our new project that we're going to be working on. So I just picked this up and it doesn't run. Got it for a pretty good discount. I'm sure it's one of those imported pieces of that need a ton of work. But uh, you guys are going to be right there with me to do it. We'll figure out what's wrong with it, get it off the truck, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. And as always, I started the project again without recording it. So let me give you a rundown of what I've done so far. Just a couple things. Um, things I knew I had to take off. Um, not sure if I even mentioned it yet, but I picked this up as a project with the spark plug. Um, the previous owner said the spark plug threads were stripped. So um, here on this 150 cc the spark plug hole is down here, right behind the seat on the passenger right side. And um, I don't know if you can, probably can't see that, but you can push the spark plug all the way in. So the strip threads are completely shot. Originally my idea was like, oh, I might try a helicoil because I've never had success with one, but I, I'm going to try it. But um, this one came with... When I bought it, the guy had already purchased the brand new head. So I am going to be removing the head and putting this new one on. So we're going to do all that together, all that fun stuff. It's already got the valves in and everything. Um, obviously the new spark plug hole, that's not going to let you push it all the way in. What we're going to do is, what I've already done, I removed the carburetor obviously already. Uh, first I removed the air cleaner hose which was here and then removed the carburetor. Carburetor was just um, held on by the um, uh, worm screw clamp I guess you call it. <clears throat> and then there was two bolts or two nuts that held the other elbow or the other side of the carburetor which is this elbow here. So I didn't feel like taking that off I just left it and moved everything out of the way. Um, there's enough hose to do that, so I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, first, before I did any of that, I should say, is I jacked up the whole go-kart from the rear axle. Let me see here. From right here. And the puppy's trying to be in the video here. There you go. You're in the video. So jacked up the whole axle and then I put jack stands on just the gave me a ton of clearance here um, because this was riding you know pretty close up to there so that would be my first step if I would tell, tell you to do that would remove that to give you more room um, there's a couple other things you have to take off I'm gonna have to take off the exhaust because obviously that mounts to the head and uh, which is down here the right here it's going to go underneath to the bottom side of the head, down there. So you'll be with me for that. And uh, of course this model has a timing chain, so I'm going to have to remove the, um, the, the guide nuts for that, or cam, cam nuts for that. And then uh, I'll tilt it sideways, you'll see that later, to get that out, to loosen the chain and get that out. And, and then there's just couple bolts or nuts down inside the head to remove the head or I'm sorry out here on the outside to remove the head and then we'll put the new one on adjust timing and it should run <laughs> fingers crossed so stay tuned for that so this cover here on the side I'll hold on with Eight millimeter bolts. And this is how we're going to access the 
crankshaft. Been spending a little more time lately getting responses to your messages and comments and stuff. So, what made me think of that was the fact that I have no music. I told a YouTuber that commented on one of my videos that he didn't like my music, so my next video would not have music. Comment if you would like otherwise. Or if you like the no music. Either way. Probably have to put headphones on for my videos though because I like the music. There's that, two bolts in that, 8mm, that gets us right to the head, I'm sorry, the crankshaft, I didn't mean the head, <clears throat> so here we go, camera around, alright, so the head, and then it shows the direction of travel right there, so you see the arrow going that way, so see the way the head goes. You can see the valves open and close, and the timing chain. I'll explain the timing chain when we get to it. Well, I'm not going to explain the timing chain, but I'll explain how to check it. But I'll run So here's a close up of the bolt that's on it, or the nut that's on it. There we go. So there's a close up of it. 10 millimeter. Gonna need a wrench. And then I'll give you a close up of where the studs are at so you can see that better. That's where the studs are at. There's one there, and then one on the bottom. Right there. So, you do have to take the exhaust off all the way back from here, the uh, bolt right here, and it goes into this rubber grommet with a washer on both sides of this rubber grommet. Um, and then there's just one evap hose that I disconnected, and then the whole exhaust system will fall down, come down, whatever. <clears throat> And you're left with the cylinder head with a hole in it where the exhaust comes out. And then I removed one other piece, uh, the valve cover, just um, because it was getting in the way. It's a rather large piece. So I removed that as well. Trying to remove as little of hoses as possible because this thing looks like a plumber built it. And there's a million different hoses. So next what we're going to do is we're going to remove the carrier for the cam, these four nuts, and then we're going to take the chain out, and then we're going to remove the bolts for the cylinder head and take the head off. So I know you're very excited that we're already at the point of taking the head off as I am very excited
And after you remove this, you want to, awesome. You want to do a really good inspection on everything involved in here. You want to check over your journals. Make sure there's no scoring or pitting. There we go, your journals. Make sure your your guides and your, your valves and your lifters is where your cams, lobes ride, or your cam bearing on that side. And then your lobes push on here. Sorry about the camera. <clears throat> so you wanna make sure there's no pitting or anything like that in all of, all of those parts. And it looks like everything's self-contained, so you don't really have to worry about the anything falling out when you take this out. It's got it marked e, EX for, I'm guessing, exhaust, and then FS, um, fuel side maybe, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but that's the way it was laying. On top like that, fuel side this side, exhaust side that side. So that's the way I'm going to remember that cam. Like I said, you put it sideways to, it's going to be hard to record this and show you at the same time, but That's close enough, as good as I'm going to get it for you guys. So you tip sideways, and then remove your chain. Like that. And then just lay the chain down. And here's your cam. <coughs> just like the valve rockers cover. You want to do the same thorough inspection. Make sure your bearing is still good. There's no grinding sound, no feeling of any sand. Which would you know, tell you that you got dirt in it. Uh, or it had dirt in it before. Either way it's got dirt in it. But this one doesn't. You want to look at your outside of your bearings. See if they have any grinding, rubbing spots. And look at your lobes. I gotta stay in camera here. Look at your lobes, make sure that those don't have any grinding spots, flat spots. Just an overall general inspection. Make sure everything's good. You can see clearly now the large hole I was talking about. Large hole, and then the two smaller holes. On this side here, on the driver's side, two bolts, and the other side is held bound by the two nuts that you already removed. So now I'm going to gently remove the head. So, there's the top of the head, the valves and everything still in it. Take these bolts out of here. It's the bottom. Doesn't look that bad for how old of a machine it is. I just lost one of the guides. There's new ones in the other one, so, and the brand new head. Um, 
so it's not that bad of condition. I can definitely see the how bad the threads condition are from just here. I doubt you'll be able to see it in that, but I can see that it's, they're clearly stripped out. And then just for your own knowledge, you would even though we're going to be replacing this piece, you check these bearings too, or these uh, guides where the bearings ride at. If these are pitted, you know, probably going to see it on the bearing already, but it doesn't hurt to look while well, you've already got it off. So this is a this is our bad head. All right, guys, we're back here. We got the head studs in for the exhaust and I reused the gasket but I'm going to get a new one um, also because I'm guessing that's some aftermarket cheap piece the exhaust pipe didn't fit on it the flange was too large so I had to grind this end off in order for it to fit right there in that tight spot so got that all fitted now and the large portion of the threads are facing out as well on this so there we go that's perfect let's go let's go down with this thing famous youtuber so I can buy real camera equipment okay so anyways the long portion of the threads which is this side it's gonna stay out same design idea to get it in to get it in you're being naughty hmm? you're being naughty Bye, Johnny. If I don't get this close enough to run in, then I'll just take this back off. But if I can run it tonight, I want to try it. Alright, took in the old gasket off. Reusing that. And the old plate. So stay tuned, and we are going to start mounting this back on. All right, guys, back here, backyard DIY. <laughs> Got your attention, didn't I? All right, so we're going to put the shiny new cylinder head back on. Already replaced the gasket. Take note on your old gasket when you take it off. Uh, this one came with, the kit came with a paper gasket element and it came with a metal one and my machine unit had a metal one so we put that back on also pay attention to the direction it was facing or the side I should say because uh, it's beveled for I'm guessing sealing purposes on one side so make sure you replace it the same bevel facing the same way Alright, so everything else is all in, looks good, 
And we're going to already put the gasket on. So we're going to slide the cylinder down, or the cylinder head. Also, I'd say now is a good time to mark. So if the direction is this way, you want to go until the piston goes all the way to the top, and then right before it starts to go back down, is your top dead center, which is right there. And that's where you want to set your timing at. So that's at the top. Now we're going to put the head back on. And the best thing for getting that timing chain through the gap in your head is a magnet. Let's see if we can find a magnet. So, just going to loop it through there. Alright, and then you want to make sure you're lined up with your chain guides. And there that goes. But anyway, on this video here, I uh, after I got it all back together, um, I put the new head on. As you can see, it's a it's a little bit cleaner than the rest of the the jug, obviously here, and the valve cover. So the head is brand new, brand new spark plug. When I put it all back together, it didn't have any spark at all. So I was scratching my head like crazy and testing wires and everything and I noticed that there was this switch here on the back of the box. I don't know if that's factory or aftermarket, but I didn't know which position it should be in or what it even controlled because it doesn't say anything on it or near it. Um, so after all kinds of headache, because there's also a push button engine kill switch here, plus the key turning off kills it. So I didn't think that back there would be a one, two, third kill switch. So I didn't think of it as that. And uh, then I tried it in different positions. And anyways, long story short, that was a kill switch and it was in the off position or on, which kills the engine. So it's on the off position, however you want to word it. And uh, I've got that going now. Um, so it started up. I got to put the plastics all back on that cover around for the cooling system and then I have to put the shocks back mounted here and uh, so that will raise this rear end which you can see the tires are touching the ground. I'll have a couple other videos because I want to clean this up and make it a little nicer looking and uh, also this is looks like it's got a, a bad bearing I'm guessing because the tire wobbles and I already checked the nut. Uh, you can't even see it but it uh, that needs to be fixed so I'm gonna have to take that apart and see what's going on there but we can go ahead and fire it up real quick hear what it sounds like I gotta give it a little gas here hold on So, sounds good. Um, he said it hasn't ran in the guy I bought it from a year or two, maybe something like that. So, I'm assuming either the fuel is getting old or it just needs to get out and get hammered on for a second before it uh, 
sits there and idles because it doesn't want to idle right now, but it sounds good other than that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the plastics all back on now and uh, I'll just leave the camera on for that and I will um, change or take it for a test drive. So you'll be able to see that as well. See it out for the first time, at least with me driving it. All right, Zachary here. Wanted to start the video inside the garage because it's nighttime and I just finished it. So we're about to go on our maiden voyage here. First time ever. really like for a go-kart that it's got adjustable seats. It's kind of cool. Gotta keep her going. Let me turn the camera around. Guys, here's my recap of the night. Um, just finished the, what is it, Zircon? Yeah, Zircon 150 go-kart, dune buggy, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. Just took it for a test drive. And uh, I recorded it, but it was so dark out, you're not going to be able to see anything. So my plans are to re-record it tomorrow in the daylight, but I couldn't wait. So let me see if I can get this turned around here. I don't think I can. So here's the go-kart. Let's do a selfie with the go-kart in it. And uh, I will give a recap tomorrow once I get daylight and the my actual camera recorded or um, charged and uh, give a rundown of, of what we did and what was wrong with it and how we fixed it so as always like comment and subscribe I'm gonna put the links down there and uh, can't remember one side will be the YouTube's idea of the best um, video for you to watch next based on what you watch normally I guess I don't know I don't know how that works but uh, so I will have that on the screen one side will be the subscribe button and the other side will be the next best video for you to watch um, if you subscribe make sure you click on the little bell so you can get the notifications when I update new videos and uh, if you have any questions or you would like to see something, feel free to leave it. And uh, I usually answer my messages pretty quick. So thanks a lot. Have a good night.